fast forward six months, I go from 500 subscribers in January to 13,000 subscribers in June or July. YouTube, what's good? It's Decaf. Today I wanna to talk about how my channel died so people don't make the mistake that I made. And also to kind of explain to longtime viewers who are very curious, because I do owe you an explanation. I owe you an explanation, I can't deny that, and I apologize. So I started my channel a, a while ago. I, I don't even know how long ago it was. It was a long time ago, some years now. And when I first started posting videos, it was like gaming videos. Gaming videos got like no views. And to be honest, sometimes I'd refresh the page just to see my views go up because it can be hard to put so much time into recording and editing a video for no one to watch. So as I continue posting, I have my locks at this point. Oh, I miss those days. So I started posting like dreadlock updates. I seen people posting it and I'm like, oh, this is a cool way to kind of track my own like kid progress. So I started posting it, started getting views. All right, cool, we making traction. You feel me? At this point, I'm going from like 30 subscribers to I think it was like up to 200. And before I knew it, my subscriber count was around like 500 subscribers, which is crazy. In this point in time, in my mind, I'm like, yo, this is so crazy. My highest view video is when I talk about dyeing my hair pink, and I think I showed how I did it as well. And it has over 100,000 views. That's crazy. Now when people seen that video, people I grew up with like in middle school, like they randomly messaged me on Facebook or Man, we Snapchat him like, yo, tell me why I'm looking up YouTube videos with my girl on how to dye dreadlocks, and I see your ugly ass. Like, all right, bitch, you ain't had to go there, but all right. It felt good though to just see that people were watching my videos. So I got more and more into it, and I was addicted to the feeling of creating and having people like watch me. Honestly, okay. So at this point, I'm at like 500 subscribers. Then one of my gaming friends was like, yo, know what you should do? You should react to a K-pop song. So I'm like, bruh, I don't know. I don't listen to K-pop. He was like, yeah, that's the point. People would want to see like someone's first reaction to K-pop. I'm like, you know what? Okay. I've always been an open-minded person. I love music. I feel like music is a universal language. So I didn't have any problem with it. So eventually I gave in. Long story short, I ended up doing a reaction to a K-pop song it's from BTS. BTS is actually a really cool like K-pop group. Y'all should check them out. So I posted it. First day, it's like no views, it's like 30 views. And so my friend like, nah, like, I wasn't really expecting anything out of it. You know, it was a cool experience though. So cool. Then check back the next day. It's like 5,000 views. I'm like, what is going on right now? You feel me? Because at that point in time, my highest view video was how to wash, retwist, and maintain dress. And I had like 8,000 views. It has a lot more views now, which is amazing. But in that point in time, that was like, wow, like, what just happened? I feel like any YouTuber can relate to this. It can be really hard to continuously come up with like new video ideas. And that's why it's so helpful for people to leave like video suggestions and ideas in the comments. Hence why everyone's always asking. Hence why I'm always asking, look, if you have video ideas, let me know. So at this point, I'm getting a bunch of comments. React to this, react to this, react to this, react to this. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. So much content ideas, awesome. My subscribers doubled in a day. I went from 500 subscribers to 1,000, crazy. I'm like, all right, bet, boom, push out another video. The next day, 1,000 to 2,000, whoa, crazy. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. This is actually crazy right now. You know, just seeing this like crazy growth that I was not, familiar with because in my mind I'm like wow so many people are coming to watch me watch a music video and react to it crazy I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed the whole process as time went on I did more and more reactions and I talked about different things and I got a lot more involved in the k-pop community that was really fun <laughs> fast forward that's that's the sound effect for the fast forward we fast forward six months beginning of the year it was like January 2nd somewhere around that time I have 500 subscribers. Six months, we fast forward, I'm uploading videos every single day. I was doing seven, eight videos a day, daily streams. I was on it super heavy. I was addicted to the feeling. I was addicted to seeing my channel grow. And it was just amazing. It was the best feeling. I was getting fan mail, amazing letters, these amazing messages people would like leave me on social media. It was, everything was amazing. I felt like I was becoming a star, which was crazy because I was only watching K-pop videos. 
Crazy, right? Fast forward six months, I go from 500 subscribers in January to 13,000 subscribers in June or July. And the only reason I stopped posting was because I made plans like with family to like, come visit my family. And I was only expecting to stay two weeks. So I had two weeks of clothes. That's all I brought with me, right? Oh, I brought my camera because I planned on doing like vlogs and cool content. And then my tripod broke. Somehow staying for two weeks turned into staying for, let's see, now we are in June of 2020. I came to visit in July of 2016, no, August of 2016. Somehow it turned into three and a half years, four years, crazy. It took me over a year for me to even get my equipment or anything from Florida. Like literally I was borrowing my little brother's clothes because I only came up here with two weeks of clothing. So I didn't have anything. I did some videos from my phone, but I absolutely hated the quality. I hated it with a passion. It's just not something I can do. If I can't do it right, I don't want to do it. That's just how I am. I, I have to do it right. The quality has to be there. So I waited and waited and waited and worked. I had the money to go get my stuff from Florida. I put that money into well, what seemed to me like was investing into this crazy opportunity into the entertainment industry. It was like doing club deals, and all types of crazy stuff. It was cool in the moment. Little did I know that was all gonna go nowhere. So now, boom, gotta start over saving so that I can get my stuff from Florida. It was more than a year, maybe like a year and a half coming up to two years before I even got my equipment. I come back and I'm like, maybe it wasn't good timing to completely rebrand my channel, but it was just something that I felt was necessary because I had to do, I had to follow my heart. So I decided that I was no longer going to do reactions. I don't want to be seen as a reactor. I don't want to be known for reactions. I want people to follow and support me for me, for my personality and what they think of me not for a group like a k-pop group that i'm watching so i ventured out re branded my channel i got a lot of support with it and a lot of negativity with it it was all like mixed reviews my channel dead when i came back to youtube i was still pulling like a thousand two thousand views I switched up like my whole branding and my content dead throughout this whole process and mainly just my life in general I feel like the most important lesson that life's been teaching me is how important it is to be consistent. Consistency really is everything. When I was posting on YouTube every single day, several videos, I'm not gonna spam y'all now. I'm not gonna spam you anymore, okay? That was not the best idea. <laughs> but uh, it's so important to stay consistent. I really stress that to everybody. Please stay consistent, do not, do not, curve your own blessings because you want to be lazy in the moment or because you want to be picky those opportunities are provided to you or given to you or you earn that for a reason don't let it go stay consistent to whatever you're doing if i stayed consistent the entire time who knows where i'd be i'd be dominating the universe God. i would be dominating the universe we'd be dominating the universe probably over a million subscribers. You know, like who knows? Who knows? Who knows where I'd be? But I fell off and I let that happen. I can continue to make excuses and excuses, but in reality, it was my responsibility. I let that happen. I should have kept posting. You live and you learn. All I can do from now on is just make the best of it. Right now I'm trying to revamp my channel, get things going again, get the ball rolling. I will say that is one of life's regrets. That does not mean that I don't like life now. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like if that didn't happen, I wouldn't get so into creating music. And I feel like because I put so much time, like countless hours into making music, my sound has developed and transformed into this whole new thing that I love. I like it. I like it a lot. Two years ago, I asked my friends a song and they were like, bro, this is ass. And I'm like, bro, you just hate it. Now, those songs I showed them like two years ago, I look at them like, yo, what the, what was I thinking? But because I stayed consistent and put so many hours into what I wanted to do, my sound has developed so much. It's transformed in a way that I would never imagine. So stay consistent in whatever you do and whatever you want to do. Promise me that.
Promise yourself that you owe that to yourself. Stay consistent. If you want to go anywhere with anything, stay consistent. So yeah, my channel died. So my channel's dead. I'm here. I'm back. <laughs> We're back. And I'm back uploading. If you enjoyed the video or me just talking about it, I know I kind of ranted a little bit because it has been on my chest for some years now. But if you enjoyed it or if you could relate, make sure to hit that like button. It helps out so much. Let me know your thoughts on the topic. I'm very like interested to know. Let's get a conversation going in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If no one's told you this already, you are loved and you are appreciated. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.